happy Wetlands Day. It's a, a honor for me to be the first uh, speaker in today's uh, workshop. So in order that we have uh, limited time, uh, I will try to start immediately with the, uh, my presentation. Uh, I hope you see it. Yes, we see it perfectly. Okay, so my presentation will be dedicated to the best practices for birds conservation and birding tourism at South, uh, South Water Wetlands, like on the case of Atanaso Lake, Atanasovsko Lake and Poda Lagoon. Uh, let's start first with the general information about them. Both of the of these wetlands are situated uh, in the vicinity of the city of Burgas on the Black Sea coast. And as you can see, they are Black, uh, Black Sea coastal wetlands. Uh, as in the area, there are three main wetlands, big wetlands, uh, both Atanasovo Lake, Atanasovsko Lake and Poda Lagoon are integral part of the wetland complex. Uh, most of the organisms living there are virtually uh, living in all the parts of this complex. As you can see also on the maps, uh, these three wetlands, uh, including Atanasovsko Lake and Poda are situated, situated on the westernmost point of the Black Sea, which makes them um, a very uh, uh, important part of a typical migration bottleneck site. And the, the other uh, peculiarity of the wetlands is that they're situated in a highly urbanized area, of course, highly urbanized in the context of Bulgaria. Uh, good heaven, not in the context of uh, some other parts of the world. Uh, there, Atanasovsko Lake, you can see the map of it in the right part of our screens, is situated to the north, and Poda, in the same scale like Atanasovsko Lake, is situated to the south of Burgas. They have different size, of course, as you can see on the map, almost one, uh, 1,400 uh, hectares Atanasovsko and slightly more than 100 hectares Poda. And both of them are connected with uh, the Black Sea with, uh, by uh, controlled canals. The other similarities of the two lakes to wetlands is that they both are protected under national legislation, respectively 1980 Atanasovsko Lake and 1989 Poda. Both of them are Ramsar sites. You can see the years of this. And also, both of them are protected, protected under the European Union Birds and Habitats Directives. Both places, in spite of the high, uh, big difference in their um, surface, are um, preserving high variety of habitats, which is mainly caused, caused mainly by the different salinity of the water. And of course, both of them has a very high number of bird species, 333 at Anasos Lake and 314 and 16 Poda. And of course, this was uh, not uh, uh, remain unnoted by ornithologists, by birders, not only from Bulgaria, but also from abroad. So these are the two top birding sites in Bulgaria. Which are the differences between the two wetlands? Of course, you notice uh, first is their size. Poda is uh, much smaller than Atanasovsko Lake, but also they have very different uh, predominant habitat types. Atanasovsko Lake is open, uh, shallow lagoon, and Poda Lake is uh, covered by mainly reed beds, uh, 
wetland uh, with many of uh, smaller open water bodies. Uh, very big is the difference of the land use of both sides. Atanasusku Lake is uh, one of the two salt ponds which exist in Bulgaria, and their intensive, well, not intensive uh, as uh, the, the term uh, shows, but um, active uh, salt production is taking place. While Poda is entirely protected area, it is a place where uh, human presence is uh, strictly controlled. Different, you can see also that, uh, uh, except the, the, the land use, uh, they have different ownership. Uh, Atanasusku Lake is um, partly with uh, private uh, managed lands and partly with uh, land which are under the jurisdiction of the state as uh, protected areas. Uh, this also is connected with different conservation and administrative statute. Uh, Atanasusko Lake uh, is uh, consisted of two types of protected areas, managed reserve in the northern part and protected site in the southern part. Protected sites actually is the entire territory of uh, or entire surface of Poda. Uh, this also is connected with uh, different managing uh, management authorities. Uh, Atanasusko Lake is in the authority of the um, Regional Environment of Envi uh, Regional Inspectorate of Environment and Water Burgas, and Poda is officially uh, assigned for management to BSPB. Of course, they have uh, uh, different uh, access and uh, tourist facilities uh, as uh, mainly economic area, production area, Tanasusku Lake, um, uh, in spite of its big uh, territory, big surveys, it is with um, uh, not so many tourist facilities as it could be uh, supposed or as it could be if this uh, wetland was uh, somewhere abroad. Um, Poda, as I mentioned, is entirely under the jurisdiction of uh, BSPB, under the, the management of uh, BSPB, and it is just other way around. Uh, all possible tourist facilities are in place, uh, trails and um, visitor center, etc. Which conservation lessons we gain during the um, time we were at Atanasosko Lake and Poda Lagoon? Uh, generally, they can be split into team, uh, three main periods. Uh, it's the romantic period, I should say, uh, uh, when the uh, first uh, active uh, let's say conservation activities started around 1975 and until the changes in 1990. Um, uh, 1990 was selected as a year, not uh, by chance, but because uh, this is the year when uh, Bulgaria become very, very different in political, economical, social, and any other spheres than the previous period. So. This was uh, uh, inevitably uh, affecting also the conservation uh, activities. What I can see, uh, I can say uh, is that uh, before 1990, uh, nature conservation in Bulgaria was, uh, was mainly on paper. Uh, protected areas legislation, they were uh, pretty good uh, for that time, but uh, only on paper. So that was the reason around 1970s, uh, 75 and later, uh, some people who were seeing the situation with the nature is going worse, started um, spontaneous and intuitive actions to uh, stop these negative processes. Uh, in most of the activities, uh, they were, uh, the, the, Driving force were, was pure and uh, how to say idealistic enthusiasm. 
Uh, of course, as uh, it should be supposed, the uh, first actions were, uh, uh, were directed to on a spe species level. Uh, but development uh, uh, in Bulgaria in that time was uh, concerning not only the, the, the conservation, but on, only the, uh, also the science. Uh, we didn't know uh, really, uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't do a real science uh, professionally and uh, on the at least European level. So that is the reason uh, all these activities to be uh, on such a species level. But uh, research and monitoring activities uh, were started first at Atanasovo Lake around 75, uh, for shame for us Bulgarians by a Scottish people, uh, John uh, Roberts, who, who made the first real well-planned monitoring um, survey of the Nassau Lake, of the birds of the Nassau Lake. Uh, of course, later, uh, many other activities started and uh, quickly they get uh, really a European level. We will see later uh, thanks to what uh, factor. And um, based on the data we already have, we uh, ensured, we started to do uh, proposals for formal protection of the sites. And lessons we learned during this period are very interesting that uh, internal motivation is actually the best driving force for uh, maybe not only conservation. And another thing which we learned was that we need complex approach. We cannot stick only to one component on one uh, level of protection uh, in order to be effective. Uh, next period was I mentioned it here like a foundation building. Uh, it's uh, after 1990 until year 2005, uh, maybe 2006, when uh, Bulgaria was accepted as a member of EU. This is the border year between the, the second and third period. Uh, during this period, what happened with the Tanasusku Lake and Poda Lagoon was um, before everything, uh, enforcing the formal protection. A lot of activities were uh, done, simple at the beginning, more complex at the end, but uh, the, we realized that uh, protection is possible when it is based on the legislation. Uh, next uh, step was, uh, um, creating the kind of uh, conservation bodies. And first was the uh, Poda Conservation or Poda Nature Center, which was built with the help of the Swiss Confederation in 1997. Of course, uh, all the time we were gaining a very precious experience uh, and uh, uh, continuing the research and monitoring, monitoring activities we were getting very good scientific base for conservation, we, which we already knew that this is the uh, real basis to have uh, real results. And uh, applying the best practices of uh, Europe and the world in that time, we started to develop management plans. And uh, uh, first uh, such management plan had PODA in the year 2002. And uh, on the next year, 2003, at Anasosco Lake as a bigger uh, protected area already had its uh, own management plan. They were done on the best standards, on the Euroside standard in that time. And uh, for, the, for this period, I think they were really on the very good level. Uh, conservation, uh, conservation and management actions uh, uh, become more systematic and consistent. And the most important we gain uh, very solid international support. Bulgaria was opening to the world and um, uh, access to the country was easy. Access to um, knowledge, know-how was uh, much better than before. So uh, as I mentioned also, uh, Poda Center become possible due to this uh, international support. And the third period is uh, so-called cruising speed period. Uh, uh, this is the period uh, after the year 2005. 
uh, increase the level of science-based and uh, result-driven um, results driven actions, but also we try to become professional in all aspects, uh, in knowledge and in action. Um, as I mentioned in the previous slide, we were more and more applying international standards and best conservation practices due to the increased uh, uh, contacts with uh, out of the Bulgaria world, outside the Bulgaria world. During this period, uh, a formal, a, a actual center for Atanasos School Lake was built. This is the very interesting idea of a symbiotic center. Uh, although this was very, very difficult because of the different land use and uh, land uh, uh, and uh, ownership uh, and uh, management authorities, but our colleagues from uh, uh, Bulgarian Biodiversity Foundation uh, made miracles and uh, turned this center really in a, uh, one of the best for uh, Burgas conservation uh, focal points. Uh, more and more, we realize that uh, conservation is effective when we're involving authorities and especially the stakeholders. Although it's very easy uh, and very, how to say, understandable in uh, countries which uh, didn't have a um, totalitarian period, but in Bulgaria, where uh, there is virtually no civil society to work with, uh, stakeholders is really a nightmare. And uh, uh, this is one of the biggest challenges uh, which uh, nature conservation still have in, in uh, Bulgaria and in, uh, with respect to Atanasosko Lake and uh, Poda Lagoon. And of course, uh, incre increased uh, level of international cooperation, but also recognition of our efforts, especially well, international projects, which were gaining uh, uh, very, uh, high recognition by EU with the awards of um, European Commission. So lessons here were uh, our professional approach that we realized that we can do only on very high professional level. We can do conservation only in good partnerships, real partnerships, uh, without matter how difficult they are, and also timely action. We have a very sad uh, case when if 20 years ago at the beginning of uh, uh, this conservation period was a golden chance to have a, a real uh, conservation center at Atanasusko Ezero, Atanasusko Lake, but because of the uh, typical for us uh, thinking, we will do this tomorrow, this chance was omissed. And of course, again, in spite of the very difficult, uh, very big difficulties involving stakeholders is the only way to do real conservation. Birding tourism, as I mentioned, uh, was uh, uh, um, in places, in both places, quite long, long time ago. Um, in fact, uh, the first uh, real birding tourism was in 1960 when a British group of uh, bird watchers visited the places, but this was all. During the communist period, this was really not possible because of not free access to, to the country and to the uh, territory of the country. But 1984, the eyes start to be broken by a couple from RSPB in UK, uh, Anne and Bob Scott, which uh, who visited Bulgaria, who made the uh, some observations and the next year 1984 they organized the first bird watching group visiting uh, Bulgaria British uh, bird watchers and this was the beginning of uh, um, uh, birding tourism start started and continued uh, in, in the next years uh, you can see almost entirely foreign birders at the beginning but a lot of experience was gained the, uh, the basis and capacity for birding tourism was de developed among us, and some slight miracles uh, were uh, happened that uh, uh, birding actually created conservation organizations in, in, in Bulgaria. 
You can see the logos of RSPB and BSPB. We were even copying the, the logo of RSPB, not only the know-how, not only their experience, but BSPB was inspired, uh, although the idea was long before, but uh, creation of the organization was inspired by RSPB and by these bird watching groups. Same could be seen for, uh, could be seen for the uh, conservation. We get uh, access to, to uh, materials, uh, uh, different uh, type of uh, types of information about how to do conservation. So uh, that was really very, very helpful and uh, uh, inspiring for us to do real conservation. Acceleration period here is the same as years, uh, but uh, what we learn, uh, because the incre uh, increasing numbers of bird watching groups uh, um, made us more professional, uh, we refined the network of best birding sites, and we, uh, let's say, affirmed Bulgaria and uh, Atanasos Kulek and Poda as uh, high level birding destinations. Uh, also, we try to involve state institutions to, you can see the uh, first ecotourism strategy in Bulgaria was created in this period. And we realized that professionalism uh, is very high also in the birding tourism. But also we, we learned that birding places change very much and birding world change also. So we had to adapt. That's ha happened in the last uh, period, when was, which was very different from the previous ones, when sharp reduction of the bird watching groups uh, uh, appeared and they were predominantly individuals, individual birders, which uh, uh, made us, uh, pressed us to, to, to change our approach. So we realized that it is necessary, a uh, high level of flexibility and, to be uh, our efforts to be directed to developing bird birding in the country, uh, to involve the state and local authorities on a high level, and to have benefits for local communities. And I think this is uh, most of uh, me. Uh, fortunately, it is not possible to 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 tell everything which we uh, had as uh, experience, as knowledge, or as problems but I'm happy to try to answer your questions. So thank you for your attention. And uh, once again, very happy Wetlands Day.